second to last day here in Hong Kong, and I am on my third place that I'm staying on this trip. Here at Hotel Jin, place I've stayed before, there's really only one reason why I stay here. And you're kind of looking at it. They've got a rooftop gym, a rooftop pool. I mean, check this out. It's like right in the middle of Hong Kong. Nobody up here does not get any better than this. It also helps that these buildings right here, that's where Nick lives. So the first few uh, vlogs from Hong Kong were in those buildings. But now, I'm just gonna hang out. I'm gonna enjoy my office for the day. Got my laptop set up back over there somewhere. Maybe go for a dip, hit the gym, do some reading, listen to some music. I mean, come on. It's not to like. Looking out over the harbor. How's that for a, a treadmill view? Great choice if you're ever coming to Hong Kong. Great choice. All right, had an awesome afternoon hanging out, working up on the rooftop by the pool. Now uh, I gotta go hit Lobster Bar, which is one of the top 50 bars in the world. I mentioned a few days ago, I randomly am trying to go to the top 50 bars in the world. I met like a dozen or so, and Lobster Bar is the only one that I haven't been to in Hong Kong. So Nick's not feeling well, doesn't wanna come, so I'm gonna go hop on the subway and uh, check it out myself. I'm not entirely sure how to get, get here, so this could be a little bit of an adventure. San Francisco cities like that had a lot of Teslas. None of them compare to how many Teslas you find in Hong Kong. Everywhere. Including wherever we are now, which I'm not entirely sure of. Some kind of mall. Island Shangri-La. Going in the right direction. And now the signs have left me hanging. I'm I'm not really sure where to go here. Oh. Never mind. I gotta say, generally I don't like the fact that this list seems to be made up of a lot of hotel bars, but in this case, it's quite convenient because there's signs everywhere. I swear, these signs have me literally crisscrossing around this entire mall. Smart work on their part. It's not like I buy anything, but. Upper house. That's not the one we're going to, nor the one I'm staying at, but that's definitely the one I would like to be staying at. Dude, seriously, this has been literally like 20 minutes of walking through malls and stairs and it's starting to get sweaty. We made it. Fancy. Went to Lobster Bar, it was okay. Apparently they're in between bartenders, so all they had were classic cocktails, didn't have anything original. And the old fashioned I had, eh, not the best. Like I said, 6.5, maybe a seven at best. For a hotel bar, very cool atmosphere, uh, very fancy, very Hong Kong Asian. A little disappointed on the cocktail, not gonna lie. Meet Nick here in like an hour. Um, so gonna go find some time to kill. He had mentioned a tiki bar, another cocktail bar. Here I'm doing a tour of Hong Kong cocktail bars. I'll uh, go uh, check this one out. All right, not gonna lie. Tiki bar, the drinks were better, 
than the lobster bar, which was the 18th best bar in the world. So, take that for what it's worth. Longest chain of continuous escalators in the entire world. All right, heading out to go meet Nick for dinner. Sweating my face off. Should not have worn so many clothes. Shorts, v-neck, totally would have been the way to go walking around the city. I should know this by now. Amateur move, amateur move. But I was going to a nice place, had to dress up a little bit. Still, amateur move. We got the dumplings. We got the eggplant. And we got fried chicken bao. Are you serious? Fantastic dinner. Little bao, absolutely amazing. Now I'm gonna go throw in a Netflix movie or something, chill, get some sleep. You're ready for the last day in Hong Kong. I'll see you guys tomorrow.